John Beeline is the next coach of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, huh? What? What now? Say that again? What? A Woj bomb right to the right to the heart. Dude. Okay, I'll I'll put the John Beeline bobblehead doll so sorry. that I have. And it's him with one of those uh those uh uh uh, squirt guns. Remember a couple of years ago yeah, on that, that was run? A big thing. Yeah. And he would yeah. go in and he would have fun with the kids. So here's 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 why I'm upset. Here's why I am upset. Um in his 12 seasons at Michigan, nine time NCAA tournament appearances, two Final Four appearances, two Big Ten regular season championships, two Big Ten tournament titles, sent nine uh nine kids to the uh, NBA as draft picks. They were drafted. And I could not have enjoyed every single minute of it because to also because of who he is and what he stands for and the way that he conducts himself. All of these stories about wiretaps and the FBI and whatever the hell's going on in college basketball. Not once did I click on that story holding my breath saying Michigan's going to be involved. Not once did I think about that. Not once. I'm particularly upset that it's now all over. And not just all over. All over where the last game was the worst basketball game I've ever witnessed as a fan of Michigan. The, the, the taste in my mouth from that Sweet 16 loss to, yeah, I mean, Texas Tech went to the finals. I get it. It was so awful. It was so dreadful. Cannot believe having witnessed that Final Four game here in Anaheim, that's the way that the Beeline era ends. And it also ends with him going to the state of Ohio and taking a job from a Michigan State guy. That stinks a lot. That hurts. I'll be very honest. I always pour myself out here. Pour it out here. Really? Gilbert? That's the guy? That guy? The guy that LeBron ran away from? Got a lot of money. Okay, I, I get it. But he's a Michigan State guy, and all these people, eh, you know what? Maybe he thought, you know, let's take him out of Michigan for Michigan State. Look, Izzo's got that. He's, he's fine. He doesn't need the help, Tom, as pointed out with not one, not two, but three wins against my alma mater this year. So Tom doesn't need the help. But what it also shows is that Gilbert knew how special this guy is. And he is special. So despite all of the disappointment that I am feeling right now and a little bit of the usual sensation when a coach leaves college that you feel like you've been abandoned, this guy, what he did in the 12 years with all the wins and doing it right, he also did it uh, after being brought in from West Virginia where the West Virginia bat football coach that we brought in was such a disaster yeah. that he had to deal with that as well, it's not his fault that Rich Rodriguez was a bad fit, but we're like, okay, so we're going to take the college basketball coach from that school too and bring him to the Big Ten? Yes. And you also did it when Michigan was trying to find its way, and you also did it when Michigan was trying to find its way with some checkered past prior to his administrations there, and he did it with class, and he did it with dignity. He did it, as we like to say, the Michigan way. And this is a guy... <clears throat> who at 66 years of age is coming off of some serious heart surgery last year and took stock. And maybe he just wants to give the NBA a try. And he didn't come here to Los Angeles. And a lot of Laker fans are like, well, this guy was available. It seems like he just wanted to stay close to the state of Michigan where a lot of his family is anchored. His son is now coaching in Niagara, which isn't too far of a drive away from Ohio. So all that said, this is a guy who started at New Fane High School in 1975 and then went to Erie Com uh, Community College Division II before going to Nazareth, New York, Division III, Lemoyne, Division II, Canisius, Richmond, West Virginia, and Michigan. He's coached every level, and he wants to try the NBA. And to you, John Bielan, I say, go kill it. Go do it. Do your thing, man. And I will miss you being the coach of Michigan big time. Thank you for the 12 years. I can't believe you're going to Ohio to work for Michigan State guy. But that's just my pro – that's, that's, that's an MP. That's a my problem.
not a YP, a you, a you problem. Will somebody explain to John Bilan that's a Boogie Nights reference? And who is that person? But at any rate, I, I'm, I, I'm crestfallen. I am gutted. I am very far from okay. I'm pretty f- far from okay. Somebody Whoa! explain to Beeline that that's Zed and he's got a chopper and there's right something called the, a gimp. Yeah. Who's going to be that person? All right. Blow torch. Okay. And a watch. There's stuff coming. It's fine. <laughs> Thank you, John Beeline, for your 12 years at Michigan. Good luck. This is what you want to do. Go with God and do your best. Be a victor valiant, as you have been for the last 12 years. Thank you. <laughs> Why'd you leave me, man? For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.